Turning to the coronavirus in Maryland, the state continues to add new cases, with more than 2,200 being reported in the last 24 hours. The death total also rose. But there is some good news tonight. Hospitalizations dropped by more than 30, and the positivity rate slightly dropped. As, a, as the state works to curb those rising numbers, thousands of Marylanders are now getting vaccinated. WJZ is live. Stetson Miller breaks down the latest numbers and tells us why officials are asking people, even those who are vaccinated, to remain cautious. Stetson. Rachel, well, over 2,000 new cases of the virus were reported today. Almost as many people were also vaccinated, and local officials are urging everybody to hang in there as this vaccine continues to come to Maryland. This is a game changer. Over 18,000 people in Maryland have been given the coronavirus vaccine now. Among them, Baltimore County Health Department and EMS staff who got the vaccine earlier this week. What we wanted to do was to start to va vaccinate our staff who are the testers, vaccinate the staff who are the vaccinators, and also start to vaccinate the EMS. On Saturday, 1,900 more people in the state were reported as being vaccinated, just as over 2,200 more Marylanders were confirmed as having COVID-19, and 21 more people died from it. Well, vaccinations are a big step in the right direction. Former Baltimore City Health Commissioner Dr. Lena Wen says we're still months away from immunity. It will take maybe half a year or more for us to get to herd immunity in this country so that everybody is able to be protected from coronavirus. In the meantime, officials still urge Marylanders to keep taking precautions to try to limit the spread of the virus. I want everyone to social distance this year so that next year when you get together, no one is missing. And as Rachel said, there is some good news from the latest numbers. Hospitalizations are down in Maryland today by 36 people. Reporting live for WJZ, I'm Stetson Miller.